Hey guys, welcome back. Mederos here with another video. Today I want to talk about painting what you love. Can you make beautiful artwork with just basic understanding of the theory? Of course you can. I don't know, I myself don't know all the theory, but I know enough that I don't have to keep checking and referring to it while I'm painting or drawing, or even drawing. It can be anything. That allows me to be free to paint expressively and use my creativity to develop the painting or the drawing that I want. When I was a kid, I studied art for about a year in an art school in Caracas, Venezuela. Because life happens, I drop out and got in touch with my artistic side 20 years later. Since then, I've I've had to study the basics of drawing and acrylic painting and that have helped me to develop my very own technique. If you don't have any formal art training or know much about the theory but are simply trying to make art, just have to start doing it. If you are just loving to do something, don't let yourself down go for it trust me just having the interest the interest and taking action can take you really far what you need to know i want to give you a few art concepts that are going to help you out through through this whole new process for you so one of them is composition is the arrangement of visual elements in your art it is about putting together the lines, the shapes, the colors, the values, textures, forms, and space into your painting or drawing. Color palette. The color palette start to get familiar with warm and cool colors. This is basically a full range of colors. It is also the board that artists use to hold and mix the paint you can create your own color palette. If you are painting, you, cre you have to, okay? You have to remember when you are using acrylic paint, it is very important to blend and mix the paint on your palette before going to the canvas to avoid a little messy, messy, messy. Okay, the next concept, values. This is your lights, your mediums, and darks. Since you are a beginner, try to make sure you have at least one dark, one mid-tone, and one light color. Your light source. Imagine a source of light shining from one side of the painting, and make sure to put light colors on any objects that will be touched, that will be touched by light. When you're working from a reference, pay attention to where the light source is coming from. It will guide you, okay? And you can try to take a photo of a plant you have in your house and you pay attention to the details of that photo. You'll see you have shadows, you have depth, and you have your light source, okay? Every painting, every drawing must have a light source. This will be what makes your artwork complete, okay? What makes it stand out, not because a bunch of light. No, it is because it's a beautiful composition overall, okay? So, well, thank you for being here with me while I'm doing this beautiful thing. And see you on the next video. Bye.